Hello everyone, I'm Greg Luke, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to the Factorio with the Space Age expansion, where we got back from uh, Folgora in the previous, oh, two episodes ago actually, last episode we just ran around headless, like a headless chicken, and didn't really have an overall goal. I've just put down some goals for this episode though, because I feel like I want to have a goal. Though in the last episode we did expand the ship, which I guess is the biggest accomplishment from that episode. And we are starting to have a little bit of fuel, and I do want to send this ship to Fulgora this episode. But on Fulgora, we want it to bring back some gear. I know actually first we just wanted to bring back some science so we can research the mech armor to completion. And we then want some machines with it as well. But then when it returns, we want some quality gear. And... That is just going to be produced here, and we will recycle some stuff after we just grab a bunch of science first. So, battery packs, personal robots, And maybe that's it. Though... To make that stuff in quality, we need quality modules. And I was thinking that we would just make quality modules on Novus and then send some. But quality modules 3 require superconductors. So either we set up a Fulgora for quality module production in general, or we send some quality module 2s with the ship. Or maybe we do both, just to save some time. Because I'm not sure we will have enough. Actually, we have plenty of circuits, don't we? Yes, we do. At least right now. We must still do both, though. So we should set up some production for this. We should set up some production for gears. And we should set up some recycling for gear. When I'm saying gear, I mean uh, equipment, sorry. It's my gear. Not to be confused with the iron gear. But yeah, equipment. We want to produce it with quality modules and then recycle the stuff that isn't high enough quality. Is the idea. Can we think of anything else we need on Fulgora. Not right now. Good. So that's the overall goal. While we're waiting for a lot of that stuff to happen, we are going to make outposts. I want gear wheels automated and I want green circuits. At least I want an outpost for green circuits. Maybe we're not building it yet because we don't have the electromagnetic plants. But we can make the station and then we can start mining more iron and copper on outposts to bring there. Because I'm sure we will have a lot of downtime. Also, we could start building the next ship from here. When we get the full Gora ship sent away, at least. Okay. How do we order all of that and bring it down into smaller steps? I think on Fulgora, we are just going to start by making key or quality modules. I think it's just four of those to two of these to one of those. But this should be done in these guys because we get productivity. Oh boy. We are going to go and do that over here. Hmm, sure. We don't care about that small amount of space we lose. I think we are just going to remove the chests that we got filled with stuff here. And then just paste some new chests down. Good. 
and then maybe just check the ratios. We need four quality modules here every 30 seconds. This makes two every 30 seconds. Actually, it makes three in these. We want four every 60 seconds or something like that. More than that, I guess. Let's just say four every 30 seconds of tier twos. From one in machine we would get one and a half, so that's a bit difficult. I am just going to stick with the usual recipe and then just get extra modules, I guess. Am I? Three, two, 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 one should do it as well. At the same speed, just not at perfect ratios. Let's just get power from this one, because why not? We cannot productivity this, right? No. Tier 2. Wait, what? Oh, we're already outputting. Okay. Wait, we wanted three of those. Start. Delete. Delete. Oh, we don't have that many green circuits because I never scaled up production enough. Do we think we have enough copper cable to scale up production? Maybe. We do not have enough mud. No, we do have enough mo of modules. Good, good. So tier two and then tier three. Requiring superconductors. Good. We don't want to start producing gear equipment yet because we want the quality modules for it. So we are going to wait for that for a bit. Let's have a look at our ship. We have enough steam to make this trip, I'm pretty sure. We might not have enough oxidizer. Does oxidizer take more water than this? No. Then how come we always have more of one than the other? I don't know. Quality module 3. Done. Okay. Mm. Do we want quality quality modules? Maybe just in the module 3. I mean, why not? How much science do we have? 4,500? Okay. Back to the ship. Trying to keep all this in my head. So if we don't want to bring quality modules because we're just producing them on Fulgora, do we need to bring anything? I want to make this. That's fine locally, I think. Yes. I want to make this, but that's just batteries and low density and processing and all stuff we have. Is there any reason to bring this back with us? Not really if we make gear up there. Also, didn't we unlock a test like gun, or is that just researchable? It's just researchable, okay. That is also something we want to play around with at some point. 
Scrap recycling productivity would be good as well. This would be good as well. At some point, this would be very good as well. And maybe just get that out of the way. Okay. So there's no Tesla gun yet. We want to bring these back, but we're producing those. We want to bring these back, and we're producing those. We want to bring these back, and we are starting to produce produced that so maybe that's just everything this was on Vulcanus yes do we maybe want to bring a cliff explosives didn't we produce that here though or was that on Vulcanus it was here we could bring back some cliff explosives from here at some point, but that's not right now. That's not in my list of goals, so let's not worry about it. That means we're pretty much ready to send the ship. But we haven't really made any significant improvements to it in regards to killing asteroids from last time, other than making sure we hopefully have enough power. So, we just send it on a test run. Do we need this for anything on Novus anymore then? We can make this in foundries. We should get foundries to Forgora. Okay. Good to know. But, do we need it on Novus? This and this we will be making on Fulgora, same with these, so actually no, we do not need that. We want these, yes. So anything else, gear, but we're not bringing that in the first trip at least. But I guess we could ask for legendary. Don't want a suit before I can get mech armor. At least we can make on Novice. We want modules at some point. But not to begin with. I'm just putting in the things that I want to remember. There's no reason for this. Not right now at least. There's no reason for this. Railgun turret. Okay. But that will be made locally I guess. Though that seems way far out. We need a lot of new stuff before that. Okay. So no. We don't want anything else. Are we then just ready? Do we want to try putting a wall in front of this? No, we want to see how this does by itself. So let's go to Folgora. And how does unload work? Unload cargo. But only requested cargo is unloaded. And we're not requesting any of this. So nothing is unloaded. So we need some other condition. Do we just want all of these in our inventory or do we just want the science? Science, I think. Item count. Science is above or equal to 10,000. If it gets there, it can go. Before that, we can send it manually. But what else do we have? We usually check Steam, but I'm pretty sure Steam will just not, not be a problem at all. So I'm not going to think about that to begin with. Let's just get this going. And until we get into the asteroid field, let's 
set up this and say again item count science is equal to zero I guess If we remove the inner ones of these, we could have more laser turrets here if we need it. We could also expand this whole structure upwards, add more storage, add more asteroid collectors, collectors on the side. Did we run out of fuel? Not yet. And why are we not traveling faster? We are just low on oxidizer, I guess. Yeah. But it's okay to be slow in this area. Could even try to utilize being slow, actually. Just pump less oxidizer through this thing. And fuel, I guess. Or just limit how many of these we have. Because being slow seems to be a feature. At least when we rely on lasers. Doesn't that sound like a good idea? It does to me at least. I wanted to expandable or have the space for the extra engines, but we might just go down to just one. And that is one of the ones we will be having connected without making changes, so... Maybe we do that when we get there. Power-wise, we have topped out at, what, 75 megawatts? That's only half of our requirement. Or maybe we have topped out a little bit higher. Okay. But we are with there now. Did we add enough of these around the ship? We did, yes. Good. So here it will just also get more water in general. Which is good for fuel and stuff. Good. We are requesting stuff. We're also getting recyclers already, it seems. So these are set up to be automatic. Yes. Good. And we just leave that for a while. And while we wait for that, for that we make outposts. <clears throat> I want a lot of blue belt for that, though. Maybe not this much, though. <laughs> That is a little bit too much. How come we're not requesting? We are, I'm just not requesting very much. Okay. Miners, smelters, assembling machines, since it's actually gear wheels we will be making first, though we need extra iron for that too. So we don't... We should come... I, I can't have everything in my inventory anyway, so let's focus on gear wheels first. I run gear wheels in assemblers. Where are my assemblers? Up here. We need more storage for potential quality of these. I'm still unsure about if you should really just make all intermediates and lower quad or lower tier items quality you probably should if you want it to be efficient but it's just a lot more machines you need okay so we can make a lot of gear wheels with this amount of assembling machines we need a lot of belt we have that we need a lot of inserters we have that we need rail outpost put stuff outpost sorry out, post.
I'm not sure I really want this anymore. I think we are good. And I think we're just going to build up here or something. Sure. Let's get on a train. Yes, we got everything needed for the outpost, I think. Everything I remember, anyway. This is to load a train. We haven't gotten anything far out here to unload other than just this. But maybe we just base this on loading and then we add the inputs or unloading of other resources from that. At which point our stations will be expanding to the left and right with staggers and more stations. And our production will be expanding upwards. That sounds fine. I really just need to go up and see this. I always have this discussion with myself about how I want things to be expandable. And then I never really have to utilize it because how many gear wheels do we actually need to produce? Not more than can be produced in like 20 assemblers. Not for this build at least. Hey, 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 hey. Why do you always keep leaving with the temporary stop? You have been standing still for a while. You shouldn't have that temporary stop anymore. But it might just try to get out of the way. Maybe they have made something smart. I don't know. Okay, I don't know how much space we need, so I'm just going to build this right here. And we can just build this here, right? We should have enough space to get stations to the left of this into the same output rail. I think so. So, outputting gear wheels, they stack to 100, right? Yes. Mm. There we go. Good. For that, we also need this. But we don't want this anymore. Mm. Do we have enough space to get the output? Yes, we do. We output iron plate. Still like 45 degrees more than the others. Wait, was that supposed to be on the outside? So we can fit this in again sooner? I think so. So something like that seems to be how we do it. Sure. What could go wrong? Build. Oh, I undid this. My bad. Hmm. 
upgrade all of this. Oh, there's a new tier of inserters that we don't want to upgrade to, but we have this. Rather than have that there, I should have the book with it in it. Good. That should be everything. Let's get this out of the way. And then if we just name our input station here, input for the outpost to iron unload, we should get a train coming. Except that that train is already occupied because I've been really bad about balancing this apparently. Train limit zero. No, zero of one. See, that's a problem. I wanted this train to be available now, and it would be if it had just been unloading uh, evenly. I'm unsure if it's me who have caused problems by taking from these. Because we should be outputting equal from both sides in these. Because they are side balanced by themselves. So are these. And then they are balanced across. And then I even just side balance a little bit extra because I forgot I had already done it. After balancing all of the belts. So this belt running faster shouldn't be a problem. And we are taking from all of them. This stuff goes out there and is put into this side. This stuff is just going through here and goes on this side. And that should be fine. But where did the train go? It went up here, okay. I don't want to add more trains right now, because it shouldn't be needed. But I do want it to go back over there and send it away as soon as most of it has been emptied out. But let's build this while we wait anyway. We need input to there. Why is this lower? Because it's not as wide as this. It's only one tile this wide though, which means the rail is two tiles. No, it actually fits there. We would waste that one tile here anyway. Oh, it's because we have this in here all up against the rail. So it is allowed to protrude further. I'm just going to line it up then. We still want three trains in here, or two more after that. Since we have more space on this side than this side of the belts, and we won't have that many stations over here, I think we're just producing on this side. And we're going to do it with belts. And it's going to be very simple, because no one has ever had trouble with making iron gear wheels and then I say that and then I want to make it less simple I mean input output is very simple right but what if we utilize the same setup as I do in smelting Something like this. And 
And the reason I would do that is that this is less white than this. And we can beacon it just as easily. And as long as I have done it in the right way, we don't have problems with inserters, but I haven't done it in the right way. These need to turn around, I think. No, why would I want it to be like that then? Sorry, I'm just being a bit weird here. So, our output always puts to the right side of the belt when facing in the same or opposite direction to the belt. And this will always put to the far side. So this puts on the belt's right side, this puts on the belt's far side. Works for out. What have I been doing here? I have no idea. Something like that. And then input is just input. And power is power. And easy. I like that. I always like that. It's just a little bit expensive in undergrounds, but I don't care. So you move down to here. We potentially need another input uh, station if we want full output, but I don't think we'll ever get there. Are we going to have a look at ratios here? Or not ratios, but how much... How many machines we need and how many beacons and so on. Or are we going to instead look at if we can fit in another belt for a full belt of output? Mm. No, because we don't need a full extra belt with productivity. I need a calculator. Calculator. Oops. Sorry. Can I just get a taller calculator, please? Thank you. So, dang it. Each of these takes half a second to craft. We want to just be able to carry or handle a full build of iron input. That should probably be the way we go about this. So 45 iron plate divided by four plate per second in each machine. What was I trying to see? Oh, crafting speed, of course. We don't know the crafting speed yet, though. Because we have beacons, but we don't even have the right... Uh, ...modules for them. I started carrying these because then we could power both sides. We do that here too, I guess. Do we have some power we can transfer? How much speed is in tier threes? 50%. But then we learned recently that we do not get full efficiency out of beacons anymore. This is only sped up with how much? Well, with 35% efficiency of each beacon. We have 8 beacons. But it's at 207 or 35% extra speed. And that is from beacons that should give 50. So we get less than 5 beacons worth of coverage or efficiency 
That's not a very uh, math driven number, less than five. Oh wait, these are only tier twos. So speed 30%. Times two sixty, but then divided by two from beacon debuff. So it is thirty per eight times thirty is what? Let's just finish that one first. Eight divided by eight times thirty, sorry. Two hundred and forty percent. We get 235. Why? It's a weird question, I'm sure. I need some numbers here. Minus 40% because of the B or the modules in it. One of these. Plus 5%. So we get 45% out of a beacon. With 60 percent speed in it have they just changed that then i would guess so so it has gotten way better with fewer numbers of beacons but worse with high numbers of beacons and i guess that is what they wanted to achieve i think i've read their thoughts on that So again, if we had 100% speed, we would get 75% out of the first. But I can't use that for anything. Dang it. From the first one we add, we get 75% from the second one we add. We get another 75%. Third one, another. Why is it suddenly linear? Was I just wrong about it being uh, diminishing returns? We get 45% out of each. And it's not even diminishing returns, but worse returns. 45 times eight is the math I just did, 240. 240 minus 40 is 200. Wait, this is my bad. I'm not doing the right thing. We get 45% speed out of each, it seems, by 8 minus 40. But we're not getting that. Okay, so at some point here, it stopped being... 75% from each. If it was so far, we would have 4 by 45%. Which is what? 180 minus the 40 is 140. Yes, so so far we get 75% out of each. Is it when we add the fifth? It is currently... Oh, wait, what? Just by adding this beacon, no effects, it goes down. Interesting. From here, 116. Wait, what? Suddenly it doesn't make even numbers anymore. What? I am so confused right now. I just need one, please. Minus 40. I can remember that number or just look over here. Add one. Still minus 40. Did I do quality of anything? No, we don't have quality beacons. Minus 40 to plus 50 is 90 percent.
What? We only get 60% out of... Oh, so the distribution efficiency is actually multiplying each of them by 1.5. 2 times 30 is 60 times 1 times 1.5 is 90. But that was not what I saw just a second ago. I thought... So the first we get 90 out of 2 plus 50. Now we only get 37% out of that one. And now I can't do the math anymore. Why was it nice numbers before and now it's suddenly not? Am I just drunk? Was it unpowered when I was looking at it before? No. I am so confused. And now empty has no effects. I'm pretty sure I was... No, it does have an effect. Is it just slow to update? Plus 95, plus 116. Plus 81. Plus 70. Plus 81. Plus 95. Plus 116. Am I the only one seeing weird stuff here? One forty. Two fifteen. Is it a waste of beacons? Is what I'm trying to figure out. So, from adding one row of beacons here, we went from one forty to two fifteen. That is 75, I think. Yeah. 75% speed from these. 180% from these. We could just do always one row of these. Have two setups around it. And then we're done. Which would mean I would want this up here. Because I can't have another build below it. It's a possibility. I think I don't want the end ones. Mm -mm. Okay, but I still don't know the numbers for better modules, dang it. So I haven't really figured anything out. I just want to build this for end game, really. But maybe I shouldn't. I'm just going to build for what I have. Because I've already spent way too much time on this. I make two per second with a crafting speed of... Give me back my calculator, please. Clear. I use 4 iron per second. Plus, not plus. Just 4 per second. With a crafting speed of 3. Times 3. So each machine takes 16 iron plate per second. If we upgraded the inserters at least. And that's it. No extra calculations needed. 
Productivity just gives us more output, but we're calculating from input. That should be it. Good. So, 45 divided by 16. We only need 2.8 machines to make but to consume a full build like this. Hmm. Is that true? Maybe we should just do a test. I am just gonna going to keep that calculator open though. One belt of input coming in. So with four machines, we should easily be able to consume the full belt. And we sort of are. Just can't input fast enough, I think. The inserters are not keeping up. Okay, we're just going to go with eight and then maybe lower numbers of beacons. One for every four. Now they have a crafting speed of 187, five. So 45 items per second divided by four per second times 1.85. Eight seven five is seven point five machines. Wait, what? Didn't? No, okay. It's six machines, just two extra for. Well, to be sure. If we do that and then just undo that, we should be good. And then we can do this four times if we want to, with our current input. I should have brought more stack and server, bulk organ server, sorry. Wouldn't it be fine with fast inserters for output? We are keeping up here at least. It can output 12. I thought, no, just three. This is 12, okay. But it's three two times per second, so yeah. Okay. We did something. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is more production than we have back at base already. Since we don't have beacons here. And just 11 machines. That's a weird number. No, 12 machines. We're consuming two blue belts here. We're only consuming one blue belt here. Or up to one. Okay. Have we gotten our train back to the station yet? Yes. You should go, sir. And you should go several times. But you will be coming back here first. How are these looking? Are they equal? Yes, so far at least. But it shouldn't be a problem when we're running full builds anyway. If only one side was being consumed, then it could be a problem. But oh well. We don't have enough here for a train yet. But I'm still going to place a train, I think. No, let's go build the other station. The unloading station. 
good. But before we do that, let's have a look at our Folkora ship. You have received quite a lot of science. We don't have more science currently. We have the recyclers we want. Though, do we actually want the recyclers now? If we are making gear on Folkora. Well, we could still use them to make quality assemblers and stuff. So let's bring at least one load. And then just remove the request for now. Or lower it at least. We just need five more of these for this request to be fulfilled. Let's wait for those, I think. We have one. We need more Holmium. We need more Holmium solution. For that we need more Holmium ore, I think. Yes. For more Holmium ore, we need these to run faster. Why are we not running fast? Where has all the removal of this gone? If we have more than 10,000, but there cannot be 10,000 in... Yes, we can have more than 10,000. Why are we only reading one? This chest contain. It only stacks to 100. All other circuits stack to 200. Why is that a thing? I can't understand such things in my small brain. Start to recycle these. If you have enough, you don't. That's fine. Good. Then up here we have too much low density. Because we have the exact amount that we want. Isn't this 4800 in those two? It is, and that's over 4000. So why are we not inputting anything? Waiting for source items? You might be a little bit drunk, sir. Source items are right there. What? No! This one, sorry. I'm drunk. Target full. Oh. We didn't get rid of this problem yet. Trying to get rid of copper plate here. And that might not just not be not good enough. So many things I want to change. Oh, well, I don't really know what I would change it to, but I want to change it. I want this to work better and not be such a mess. But I don't think with the current implementation that I could do that. So next time we get to uh, Folgora, I might just start on a new island. But at least it should run now. So we should get the last five uh, electromagnetic plants we are waiting for. But we focus back here. Hundred, yes. Iron here. Unload. Don't think I even named the other station. It's just called iron, that's not true. Here. Yeah. Are we going to upgrade? Sure. Are we going to stop doing this? I think so. Mm 
let's grab what we need. Did we really use 100 of those up here? I guess for loading and unloading takes a lot by itself. 80. So when we want to do outposts, we want to go to 200 of those. I'm not sure about these yet, but at least for now we do 200. We would like more quality power poles, but we don't have more. Okay. I just want to go and du duplicate the setup we already have. That's what I'm getting stuff for now. And then finishing this train depot. Did you want anything? Why? Dang it, that's why we have red belt. When we outpost, we just want blue underground. Oh, it adds the request. It doesn't just take the higher number. Because we got 250 now. We also have more than 200 of these. Which we should store more of. So we just want 100 more when we go out. Just want 50 more of those when we go out, and then just 50 normal. Why don't we just go all in on stack inserters actually? Start to call this junk. So 100 of those normally, 150 extra when outposting. This will also be part of the outposting package, but not part of the normal package. No, we should have it as part of this. I want just 50 every now and then, but then only 50 extra, I think. We do not need a hundred beacons if we're starting to use less of them. We normally have 20, we just add another 20 when outposting, I think. Okay, and everything else is unique to this group, I think. Good. If we don't want zero of these here and want 50 of them up here, would we get 50 or would we get zero then? I'm just curious. Are they just going to cycle them to us? They might be. No, we're getting the combined. Okay, that's a little bit weird. But I guess it makes sense if you have several uh, groups you turn on and off all the time. Okay, never mind that. Back to outposting. Did we finish this? That's not the station, my bad. This is. And we will connect it when we are done. Do we have enough for one train now? We have enough for two. Awesome. We have a blueprint with the train, right? No, I thought... Oh, in the train blueprint book, probably. Yes. You go to iron gear or full cargo and you come to iron gear unload for empty cargo. And you should go away, sir. Really need to try and actually get that train to go away when it just empties out its first wagons. What is going on here? I just had some 
rock I, or stone I wanted to get rid of, I guess. Probably. Let's go up and duplicate this. When I go out of the train, does it keep this as if and put it to manual? Is that why we have had temporary stops be more permanent? It doesn't look like it. I don't know what is up with that then. But oh well. And we're just doing this now. I guess we could try building around these. Oh, I forgot we wanted to upgrade these. And suddenly I didn't bring enough modules. Outposting requires modules. Normally we don't require a lot of speed. We don't even form of outposting because we don't use a lot of beacons then. I guess. These got better distribution efficiency with quality, right? Also, we actually have a graph here showing the uh, numbers. So with four, we get three. Is that exactly four? I guess it is. 300%. Which is only double of one. And then to double that, we need 16. Okay. Yeah, just one beacon seems to be very good. I mean... The reason we're using beacons is, well, less space used, but also just to save on productivity beacons. And more productivity beacons don't have diminishing returns. Just my thoughts. Oh well. Let's get this iron connected up here. Good. Now we want two trains here. So we're using the iron way too fast, of course. Because we are using four full belts currently. Until this starts backing up. And it will at some point. So now I said I wanted to make more iron for the train to go and grab. Because we only have four red belts here currently. Mm. But we don't really have time for that. Let's instead go back here and have a look at our Fulgora ship. We have 8,000 science. We didn't get another five of those yet. What? Still a full an output here. Uh, we only have the one, which is a problem. Not sure what I thought when I built this, but everything that just gets its own item back should go back on onto the belt. But I guess we don't have that many items where that is the case. Okay. Steel. Stone. Steel and stone is not up here. Okay. We 
we have 4,000 plastic, but we are getting rid of that when it gets above 4,000, so I guess this is keeping up. That is very fast. Copper plate is less fast. Should we put speed modules in? Or just have more machines working? Because we need this belt to empty out. It could of course just help along a little bit. Get some copper out of there. And then just cancel deconstruction. Batteries we don't have too many of, okay. We have modules. Uh, oh well. Can we put epic modules in there? Just instead of two, because we just had two. I think. We have two there. Oh, were they just rare? They're just rare, sorry. So, these in rare quality. They're there. So why not? Extra quality for us. Okay. It is slowly working and this should solve itself over time now, I think. We have a steel problem down here now. We are working on that there and here though. Are these two limiting no they are definitely not they just can't keep up i'm just doing weird stuff now steel if steel above the 4000 but obviously we take from the bottom one but that is the one that has a lot of steel right now also have a lot of steel in these though but that's okay okay we got quality modules made we got our ship to Folgora without any problems as long as it's slow. I still want to try and run it at full speed if we just have enough fuel. We do that now actually. Should we just end this episode with sending this back and seeing how it does at full speed? Sure. I didn't even finish half the outposts I wanted. I thought I could do those fast, but then I had to think about beacons suddenly. And I didn't do any gear because, well, we wanted the extra science, but we could start making gear now. We are at high speed, but we're slowing down. We don't have enough oxidizer. Oh, we already used it. Holy Christ. I guess we were only high on fuel then. So we didn't really learn anything, but we got to watch another trip at least. I'm sure we could make some circuitry to balance these a little bit better, but I really don't care enough for that. I just needed to, well, stock up over time. 
Because this will fill up at some point, and then a lot more water will go into these. So it shouldn't be a problem. And we're at Norvis. Okay, so at least at the low speed that we are doing, it is no problem. And here we are requesting some stuff, but I think we're not requesting everything we want down here. Actually, we might be. I guess it is sending as fast as it can by itself, actually. We got everything of those, that's fine. We're now getting recyclers and science. And then we can finish this research. Oh, of course, we're only sending 200 of those at a time, that's why. Uh, for Gora ship. Yeah, just send it. But that's still waiting. That was me having sent those. Why are they not getting down there yet? We should have brought back some quality modules, maybe. But we want them there first for the gear equipment, so it doesn't really matter. Wait, this is supposed to be for Gora. This is supposed to be for Gora, and that is supposed to be for Gora. Good. I think we're getting a large load of science soon. Yep. There we go. Okay. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.